Hello and welcome to the 21st episode of Mr. HTML Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own YouTube background. I know I have already posted a video up of this um, but there is a more detailed way as you can see here. Now some of you may be wondering what the thing down the side is. This is my other channel. If you watched the video previously before this um, the 21st video on the list um, it will show you um, it will show you all in detail about this channel um, go check it out and subscribe anyway back to the tutorial um, as you can see um, this channel this YouTube thing looks uh, a fair layout um, quite good detail um, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create your own so first of all um, you should go find a set template from somewhere else um, I'm going to give you a good place where I got my set template from um, I'm just going to go ahead and open up um, YouTube and um, show you where I got this from. Um, I just want to say if that guy is watching, I don't mean to copyright you, but uh, I really liked um, your YouTube background, so I was uh, going to use it in a tutorial to show other people how to create it. Um, let's just find where we're at here. Um, MHT right bear with me guys close my subscriptions find where it is um, not on here but I know what the YouTube channel was called Not on there. Um, that is the channel. There. SWA tutorials. And as you can see, this is where his background is. So I went ahead and took this by myself, copied his image, and I went and pasted it into Photoshop. Now with this, I made this 2000 and pasted it in. Now as you can see, it, it's out like where it is obviously and then I moved it down a bit to there and then once you've got that image fully there then simply go to your layers duplicate the background layer because it will be locked and then put in whatever colour you want as you know I always use the gradient overlay so well, that's what we're going to use again and then go to your rounded rectangle tool and set the radius up here to 30 to match this if you want it to something else to make your channel not look like this but just kind of the same then uh, obviously you can go ahead and do that first of all I'm going to start off by doing the boxes hold on undo that uh, make sure you're on the layer 1 and then do it um go down here don't actually think that's the right radius just check no there we go it's 19 30 you want 30 and we're just going to put this in like so obviously you can see it's a set background solid color sorry and I'm guessing some of you may not want that so go to your layer style go to gradient overlay and I'm going to set this one to this blue and just move it up a little bit and then I'm going to go back once I've put that in place go back put a drop shadow on it and click OK then I'll do exactly the same for the others and then I'll put that one in place just make sure you get it roughly the same size and then as you can see it's already set with the drop shadow so once you've done one you won't have to do any more and then put it for the very last one <coughs> 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 
went a bit wrong there. Um, just going to leave it at that. Then I'm going to scroll back down to layer one, and I'm going to zoom out. And I'm then going, once I'm on layer 1 where the background is, I'm then going to put in one main background, like so. And I'm going to change this to white. And then, once you've got that all sorted, then you can get rid of that layer and then you're pretty much sorted by that and then go ahead and create your new big layer I'm just going to put it to that and then I'm going to create my layer inside I'm going to put it to about there and then change the colour of that and then put it to that blue, OK, and OK again, and then just set one big background here, and scroll down a bit, make sure it's in line. As you can see, there is your perfect set template. Now, obviously, this is where it's going to be. There's your comments, friends, and subscribers, the information, um, your videos, and then you can simply add in whatever text you want wherever you want it to be so preferably you're probably going to want my videos up here as I put in um, forgot to tell you to do this make sure you are on your last shape you created my videos make that a little bit bigger to 48 no too big 36 will do and just align it there and then I'm going to go file save as I'm going to save it to my desktop as a JPEG image, make sure it's a JPEG and then save then a little menu will pop up here and tell you how big the file is now YouTube only allows 250k um, to be in and obviously 11 is too big so we're going to have to stick to 10 which is 209 and then we're going to go to our YouTube channel <coughs> let's wait for it to load up once you're logged in simply go to themes and colors show advanced options delete whatever background you had originally browse for your background go and find what you have just created in our case there it is there and it is a possibility that it might not be perfect but you get the fair idea obviously you go back and edit it as you can see that is not perfect because I didn't spend a lot of time on it but um, obviously you can see up here is perfect because I, we did it from whoever that guy was um, make sure your transparency is set to 100% so you can see it and there you have it so once you've done that obviously keep going back to Photoshop making it bigger um, until you get it to the right thing because obviously not all the channels are going to be the same obviously you don't have to have them with rounded edges um, you can have them square edges um, you can really do whatever you want you can add text down the side but uh, just just so uh, you've got the fair idea of how to create a more detailed YouTube background layer um, there it is for you so uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next tutorial maybe after Christmas um, in January sometime or maybe before that so I uh, hope you all have a good Christmas anyway and I will see you after.